Hello, my name's Rachel Stubbs and I'm an illustrator based in South East London and I wrote and illustrated this book, My Red Hat, published by Walker Books last year in 2020. The book follows a grandfather and grandchild as they adventure through imaginative and everyday settings whilst exploring all the different things a hat can be and do. I tried to ignore the need for a story at the beginning and just tried to allow myself to play in my sketchbook and all of a sudden this red hat really sparked my imagination and got me thinking about all the different scenarios that you could create using a giant red hat. I knew that I wanted to make a book that would allow me to use my observational drawing and imaginative drawing and I looked at all the images that I'd made and thought, right, how could I use the hat as a vehicle in which to do this? I love drawing um, everyday life in my sketchbook, people and nature in particular, and these drawings really fed into this project. For example, the grandfather character was based on a man who I drew doing a crossword in the South Bank Centre and the allotments, I went to our local allotments and gathered lots of information from there. And the busy park scene where everyone's wearing red hats. I had drawn this busy park scene in St James's Park in central London during the summer. And yeah, I just had gathered so many details from doing that that I was able to draw on when it came to doing the final artwork. Sketchbooks also played a massive role in the way that I decided to make the artwork itself. I had really enjoyed using different dilutions of ink in those Pentel brush pens that you can get. And I just loved building up the different tones with that and then adding my line work on top. And I thought, how could I do this in a way that allows me to actually build up the colour in washes instead and add a coloured line? And so I started exper experimenting with ways in which I could do that. When it came to the final artwork, I knew that I wanted to try and find a way of preserving the looseness of my drawing in my sketchbook. I would often freeze up and a bit like making this film actually. <laughs> um, so I decided that I needed to find a way of tricking myself into believing that it wasn't the final artwork. I decided to set about making the artwork in layers, a little bit like you would with screen printing. Here you can see how the image built up on my computer screen. Finding the right structure and voice for this book was probably the biggest challenge. When it came to working with Walker on it, we realised that we were going to have to tweak the structure slightly in order for it to work better as an actual picture book itself. Um, so I went back to the drawing board and made lots of tiny little thumbnails, which I love doing. and. Um, I love working in this way because it means you don't get too attached to the drawing. You can capture the body language more easily in tiny drawings and you can swap them around and find a sequence more easily. Another challenge was balancing it with a small baby. He would sometimes interrupt me, <laughs> try and help. Um, but all in all, it made it a more hilarious experience. Last but not least, Thank you so much to the Klaus Flug team for shortlisting this book. Thank you to my amazing team at Walker and thank you to you for watching. Bye.